Today's home workout with your online trainer, Lucy and reed is a 14 minute to better health workout and challenge. Now this is all low impact, they're all standing moves. And this is ideal if you're new to exercise or perhaps you're returning back to exercise. This is about getting you in your best health. So I've got you 14 different moves. I'm gonna be doing it with you in real time. We do each move for 50 seconds and you get a 10 second recovery when you see a quick preview of the next move. So it's a really fun workout. I'm also gonna show a suit option so what I would say if you haven't done a warm-up just say march on the spot press pause for 20 seconds and when you're ready I'm ready to start training you today so here's a preview of the first move so what we're gonna do we're gonna do four side steps and then from there we're gonna hold it and then we just go four palm presses so let's go four of these palm presses and now you're gonna go four side steps so you can see your seated option as well so with these palm presses what this does is it actually really engages your oblique muscles so it's really good for your abs so we're just alternating side step to just doing those palm presses so we've got just 50 seconds on each move today then you get a 10 second preview in those 10 seconds, you can march on the spot or you can go straight into the next move that I'm showing you. You've just got 14 moves today. All right, that's good. Let's just keep going. And this is all low impact, but it's still really effective. We're going to be working you absolutely everywhere, getting you super healthy and fit. And let's just go last five seconds. Take it four, go three, two and one. So you just march it out. So next move is we're going to do two under the knee claps and then straight leg kicks. All right, so when that timer starts, let's go for 50 seconds. So with this one, what's really important, make sure you keep that upper body nice and straight and we're alternating doing a knee lift with that underarm clap and then that push in front, that's good. And if you're doing the seated one, we're just mimicking the same move with the legs that's good and the seated one also just really focus on keeping your core really strong so keep your belly button tight to your spine all right that's good and we've got last 20 seconds coming up and just pushing those arms in front and give me that clap underneath the leg all right that's good and remember this is just 14 minutes of you investing in your future health and let's just go last five take it four go three two and one. So let's have a look at the next move. You can march on the spot or you can join in if you want to sooner or wait to that time there. So you've just got four of these star jumps but without the jump and then we're doing four waist twists. So we're going to get ready to take the arm up and over. We'll do for three and four. Now give me that waist twist for four and just keep alternating between those two moves. So within my workouts, I like to work so many muscle groups. This is why you get so many benefits from doing these shorter workouts, all right? So we're doing what we call multi-compound moves, and this is where you can really get your best results for your health with these. All right, just keeping that going, reach up and over. Then we keep the hips still as we go for doing that waist twist. Reach up and over, nice control. Feel that working for doing it on the seated one. It's a really nice way to work through those abs. Reach it up and over. Let's go last five seconds. Four, let's go three, take it two and once. Just march out. You can just see the next move. So this one here, we're just doing a little squat then we come up to a knee lift. If we're doing it on the chair, we're reaching up then reaching down towards the ground. So let's go for 50 seconds. So doing squats are actually a really great exercise to help build lower body strength. The key thing is to always perform a squat correctly. So always make sure your knees stay behind the line, the toes. A really good tip with this is just imagine that as you're doing that squat, just lift your toes slightly off the floor. And what that does is just ensures that you're keeping all the weight through the back. All right, that's good. And just coming up. So it's that knee lift, come up to standing. And let's just get ready for those last 15 seconds. All right, well done. And take it 10. That's good, keeping that going. So these moves are all really safe. We're using body weight. So these are safe for your joint health, for your bone health, two and one. So the next move, we're gonna work on one side at one time. We're just gonna do 25 seconds where we're doing a knee lift with a punching arm on one side. So it's a repeater. 
and let's just go this one is a great one if you've got any stress just like punch away at any of that stress and then what we'll do at 25 seconds we'll change and take that to the other side if you're doing the seated just work on giving me some really good power punches all right that's good and because we're staying on the same leg you're actually really working through those core muscles as well at the same time as working cardio let's just change now take that to the other side all right that's good nice control make sure that leg in front that you're standing on you're keeping the knees slightly bent and we're just punching keeping that going you've got that timer there that's good nice control punching that through you're getting stronger each time with every single one of those punches and let's go three take it two and one all right just march out so you can preview the next move so we're going to do a step back and we're going to alternate the arms we're going to do an arm lift for two and then an open arm for two all right so let's lift the arms up lunge that back lift up lunge it back then open the arms out so you're going to alternate from two on each one and then on the seated one let's focus on those arms and open through the chest that's good just keeping that going so the idea is with this workout it's a 14 minute workout and I suggest you do it for 14 days and the idea with this is it's to get you in your best health and these exercises are safe to perform daily and they're super effective because we're working so many muscle groups because they're not working in isolated area all right that's good and you can trust me as your trainer I've been doing qualified trainer for over 25 years so I know what works and how to get everyone the best results three let's go two and one all right well done so for the next move what we're going to be doing here is we're going to go for four punches and then four side steps all right so let's get ready four side steps and you don't have to do it in time with me just you can just watch here my technique so if we're a bit out of sync it doesn't matter just give me four of those punches and four side steps and of course with this one you can travel around the room i'm just doing it in a small space but if you've got more room then walk it around the room make the most of the space you've got and to make it harder with those side steps you can also take that step a little bit wider and take it a little bit deeper all right, that's good. And we've got those last 15 seconds coming up. That's it, and just keeping that going, doing really well. And the whole thing is with exercise, it's simply about moving your body. And what I want to do is keep it fun and keep it effective for you. All right, so next move, we're gonna have some fun here. We're gonna pretend we're hitting a tennis ball, all right? So we'll do 30 or 25 seconds one side, then 25 on the other. So just imagine you've got that racket and you're just hitting that ball. If you're doing the seated one, let's throw up the ball and then just hit that. That's good. So here is your trainer thinking outside the box, trying to come up with new moves because as you probably know, I've created already over a thousand videos on YouTube. So I always like to think of something new to add to every workout. All right, let's keep that going. And let's just change side now. And so again, just mimic that movement. So imagine you're having that game of tennis now and just really hit that ball. That's good, keeping that going. Well done, 15 seconds to go. And last 10. That's it. And this is what I said, exercise simply about moving the body. Like here, this is great for your shoulders, for your abs, for your legs, for your glutes, two and one. So next move, gone out shot, but I'm still here. I promise you, you're just going to go four side steps and then take it four waist bends. All right, that's good. Um, as you can imagine, it's very hard filming these doing the split screen. So the quality isn't great on this video, but at least it's a really good workout for you. Okay, that's good. And we travel that across and then we just reach that to the side. That's good for four bends. So we're just working through the waist and back. That's good. And if you're doing the seated one, just mimic doing those marches and then you're just taking that to that side bend. So what that side bend's doing, it's working through your obliques, working through those core muscles. That's good. And make sure you don't lean forwards, neither lean backwards. So you're just staying nice and parallel that's good. And then getting ready to take that back for those four side steps. Okay, two and one. So next move, we're going to have some fun with this. You're going to hold and do a hamstring curl for six on one leg. 
then you're going to change to the other leg and then we're going to count down if you're doing seated work on doing hamstring curls so give me six of these knees slightly bent now take it six on the other leg that's good and now you're going to take it for four sets of four and then take that four that's good so you've got the idea here then you're going to go a set of two and then start that process again go for doing six so make sure the knees slightly bent so here we're activating through the hamstring the big muscle on the back of the upper thigh if you're doing it seated we're working on doing those biceps so this one here is really good for your coordination so it's working our mental fitness working our concentration as well all right that's good keep that going and let's go last three take it two and one just march it out well done so next move you count yourself but i want you to go for 10 really fast feet and then 10 really fast side steps all right so let's get ready 50 seconds on there so you're going as fast as you can if you're doing the seated one give me those straight leg kicks and then that's it if you're doing the standing one you're going really fast from one side to the other then we're just going to go for doing heel raises as an option if you want to you can add in the arms that's good and just keeping that going so we've got 30 seconds on this move left to go and we've nearly finished today's workout so today what we've done we've worked through the three ranges of motion which i always talk about in my workout videos that we do the rotational we were training the body forwards and backwards as well as sideways that's good and keeping that going low impact but these are all great calorie burning moves and let's go three take it two and one all right well done so just let me show you the next one preview of this one we're going to do heels up and rolling arms we're going to do those for a count of 10 then we're going to do swimming arms with a step back okay so just keep going and obviously the more often you do this workout you'll become familiar with the moves so you'll find that it flows a lot easier all right that's good so just keeping that going so you can see here we are working near enough every single muscle i'm working your shoulders your arms we're working even through the abs we're working the glutes we're working the calves working the thighs working your back okay that's good and keeping that going doing really well so we've nearly finished today's workout let's just keep going to the end so heels are coming up doing those rolling arms and then we're just doing those swimming arms step that foot back that's good and then let's just go last five seconds take it four let's go three two and one and just march out so this one again i've gone out short um but what we're doing here so you're stepping that foot back and you're taking the arm up so you take the hand down so you go sorry down down then come in front in front and now reach all the way up and just keep alternating with that so again, doing the same on the seated one. So we're just changing the position of the arm so you're reaching from low, low, come in front, in front, and then reach up high. That's good. And just keeping that going, well done. So again, this one's a little bit out of focus, but it's really hard. And I'd just like to say that I design these, write these, film these, edit these, do these all of my own. So they're not amazing quality, but said, as long as I'm providing you the best workout, that's the most important thing. So let's just keep going, reaching that up and then taking those hands down, doing really well. We've got last four, let's go three, take it two and one. All right, so we are on the final move. Now this is similar or exactly the same as the one we did in the previous 14 day challenge because it's just such a great move. And this is our sprinting towards the end of the workout. So let's just keep that going. You're gonna do 25 seconds on one leg, then change to the other. If you're doing it seated, you're just lifting that foot up, but imagine those arms that you are sprinting, you are running as fast as you can. All right, that's good because you are getting stronger you are getting fitter with every single workout of mine that you do and we don't quit all right that's good let's change so last little bit this is your final bit for today's workout you've got a 20 second sprint to the end give me everything you've got that's good keep going you're doing really well you should be so proud of yourself you've invested in your health your future health your physical health your mental health and your energy levels are going to be sky high now let's go last bit race you three let's go two and one amazing well done you should be super proud of yourself and just carry on marching on the spot for me 
So well done, there is your high five, you completed it. Now what I want you to do is just carry on marching until that timer ends. So let me just say, you have just spent 14 minutes with me, you and I have just invested in your future health and as your online trainer, I'm all about making you simply feel your best. So really well done for today. What I would suggest at the end of the video, I'll leave a link in the corner, come over and do a full cool down stretch with me. Don't forget this is part of a challenge. I've created you your free training download guide. So no excuse, let's do this, let's do this and let's get you feeling simply your best.